Hi, I'm Miss Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library, and today I am going to show you how to make a very simple storytime craft. Um, it is a paper plate garden. In this case, it's going to be a carrot garden, but you can do all different kinds of vegetables if you want. For this activity, you are going to need a pair of scissors, some crayons. In this case, um, you need a brown crayon and a blue crayon for dirt and sky. You can, however, also use paint. I'm not using paint today because it's a little messy and I don't want to have to spend the time letting it dry, but you can use um, paint for this and it looks a little bit better if you use paint, I'll be honest. So, but if you're not, a brown and a blue crayon or marker, then you are going to need some tape or glue or a stapler. There's a couple different ways you can attach these. Um, I'm going to be using tape today. Two paper plates. I'm using cocktail size paper plates to keep this craft small. Um, I like cocktail size paper plates for this since it is a story time craft. Um, it's better for smaller hands, but you can totally use regular paper plates too if that's what you have on hand. And then you need some green construction paper. I've just got this piece of scrap. You do not need much. And you need some orange construction paper. Again, just a scrap piece, like even if you only had a quarter of a page, that would be enough. I just didn't have any scrap orange, so we're using a whole piece today. To start out, what you want to do is cut one of your paper plates in half. We're going to go straight across. You can make it a little wavy if you want, or you can cut straight. I want to make mine a little wavy because dirt is not always perfectly flat. This is my logic. All right. Don't just throw this away. I mean, you can if you just have nothing else you can use it for, but you can make all different sorts of crafts with this. You can do a C1. Um, you could do another garden. So you can use this half of the plate. But we're going to do this, and this will be our sky. So this is our dirt, which is going to go in front, and then this is our sky. So we are going to color. They're going to sandwich in together just like they would if they were in a stack. Which is hard to see right now. So like this, not like that. If we do it this way, the pocket is too loose, but you can do it that way if you just really want to. But your pocket's gonna be loose, your carrots are gonna fall out. So we are gonna color this in, and we're gonna color it brown. I'm gonna try to do it pretty quick. This is where paint comes in really handy because when you're coloring a paper plate, it's usually pretty obvious that you've colored it. But if you paint it, you get a nice solid look. You could also use, I know you can buy party plates. Um, so if you get a party plate in brown and a party plate in blue, you could also do it that way. So we're going to color this one brown and this one blue and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and I have colored my two plates in. So this one I colored brown and this one I colored in blue. You may notice I did not color it completely. I colored it a little bit more than halfway and that is because the bottom of this plate is going to be covered up so you're not going to see it so you don't have to color it in. Um, you can totally color the whole thing if you want to. That's up to you but it's a little quicker if you don't. Um, I did forget to mention you also need a glue stick for this as well as the tape just depending on how you're attaching things but for the carrots um, you definitely need the glue stick you don't want to use tape for that. So we're going to set that aside for right now and we are going to make our carrots. Actually I think I do want to attach this so I'm going to sandwich it like this and I'm going to tape along the edge. The other thing you can do if you want is you can glue along the edge you just need to make sure you leave the bot top part unglued um, but I'm using tape today just because it's a little quicker and easier and I won't have to wait for it to dry since I'm making a video I don't want to have to do a lot of editing today so we are using tape the tape if you tape it on there I like to do it lengthwise and just get a little on the edge and press it down really good and then tuck the rest over. And I find that you can barely see that if you do it well. But you can also totally glue this. That is, that is entirely up to you. You could also staple it. 
Some people like to staple it. Stapling is super easy. I just don't have a stapler. So tape it is today. All right. Have my dirt attached to my sky. So this is the base of my garden. Right now there's nothing planted in it. But then we can tuck all sorts of veggies down into this pocket. And we're going to make a veggie. So I'm going to make a carrot. I'm going to cut a little bit less than a quarter off of that. And we are going to make three carrots. So to do that, I am just going to cut this into three pieces. One, two, and three. I'm going to sandwich them all together. So I just have a stack of three. They're not perfect or anything, but that's okay. And I'm going to cut, I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna start over here at the edge. And I'm going to cut down and I'm gonna come in as I do and I'm gonna round off the tip. And I'm gonna come up back to the other outer edge so that we have this sort of really long U shape. It doesn't look like a carrot yet, I know. So we're gonna round off these top edges like that, like that, and just fairy tip so that we have this sort of oblong oval shape. And right now I think my carrots still need to be a little narrower at the tip. So I'm gonna turn them and we're gonna cut a little bit more off this side and we're gonna come really nearly narrow so that it's a slightly pointy carrot shape. You can also, if you don't want to just freehand it the way I just did, you can take a pencil and you can draw a carrot shape on one of them and then just cut that out. That works as well. I just cannot get these little pieces up. There we go. So I have three carrots now. And I'm going to use my brown crayon again to add a little dimension to them. I'm just going to take one of the flatter edges and I'm just gonna draw some lines. I'm not going all the way across, just going part way. And they're slightly curved. I'm doing one in the middle. And that way it adds sort of those marks that carrots have on them because carrots, when they grow, they don't grow perfectly smooth. They have all these, they're a root, a root vegetable, and they have all these little kind of marks on them, these curves on them um, from when they were growing in the ground. So you're gonna give them a couple of those like that. And we're just gonna use our brown to do that. You could also use a black crayon if you have one on hand. I like the brown because it looks a little bit more natural. The black looks really stark, but black also makes it kind of look like an illustration. So it just depends on what you like. So now we are going to cut some leaves for our carrot. And this part is super easy. So I am going to make a bunch of um, little rectangles. So I'm just actually it's just two little rectangles. And I put them together. And we're just going to cut strips. So I'm just going to cut right there all the way across. I'm going to do that until I don't have any more green left to cut. Make sure you're not getting your fingers though. Keep your fingers out of the way of your scissors. Last one. So now I have all these green strips. They are going to be my carrot leaves. So I'm going to turn a carrot over so that it's face down, um, which means the crayon side is down. I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the top and we are going to stick some leaves to the back of it. So I'm just going to stick them on sort of any which way. Um, you might, as you go, cover your glue, so you might need to add a little bit more. Stick one in the middle. And I think, I think I like that. I don't think I want any more than that. So three might be the perfect number here. I might have more than I need. So again, put down some glue and start attaching your strips. This one's, I'm gonna do more than three on this one so that I use up all my, all my paper strips. Put a little bit more glue there. As you add strips, it covers up the glue, so you might have to add a little bit more. 
and then you just press them down or glue them to your thumb as I just did <laughs> and then we have another carrot and I definitely like the look of three better so this time I am only going to do three so I'm going to glue one on glue the other on like a little V I'm going to add a smidge whoops more glue right there I'm going to add one more in the middle of that V like that and we have our carrots so now we are pretty much done believe it or not you can clean up your station and to finish off your garden all you have to do is put your carrots in the ground so we're just going to tuck them in there you can tuck them at any height you want so carrots when they grow at first you get a little shoot you get a little sprout and then you get more and more leaves and then eventually when they're done sometimes their little heads peek out of the dirt so that's what we have here our little carrot garden and you can pull them out and play with them and plant your carrot garden i hope you like this craft i hope you have fun with it now is the perfect time for garden crafts since we are gardening and if you have any little helpers at home who might enjoy this this can be a really fun uh, craft for them to learn about gardening thank you